Hello, this is a video of my Chinese water dragon habitat. Anyway, here it is. It's a uh, six foot high by two foot deep by two foot wide. Um, let's start at the top. Up here we have heat lamp in a cage and then, oh, here, let me open the door real quick. And then here we have UVA and UVB light bulb. Um, these are his platforms for sunny. You can see I have platforms that kind of go all over the place. There's his humidity and temperature thing, which is rather dirty because he knocked it in his water bowl. And then there's the big guy right there. He's a very nice lizard. Yes, he is. He's my little buddy. Um, so, and then back to the front. Here we have down the middle, I have a bunch of platforms, which is because he doesn't exactly have much running around room because the bottom of the tank's really small, so I kind of did these platforms so the branches wouldn't hurt him. And then you can see they're attached, actually attached with some really strong like fishing line type stuff, but I covered it with string, first of all, so he wouldn't ru run into it and hurt himself, second of all, because it looks a lot more natural. Anyway, and then down here to the bottom is, that's just a fluorescent light to give the bottom part of it light, and it gives a little heat. Then down here, let me take these off. These are so he doesn't run into the glass as he swims. They're just cover, so that... Anyway, down here at the bottom, I have... Back there is my, his feeding bowl where I throw the crickets in, and he... Just he's supposed to jump down and eat him, but I can't really get him to do that. So if anybody out there knows how to get, because right now I feed him by hand, and if anybody out there knows how to get him to eat out of the bowl, I'd love to hear it, because I'm getting kind of ticked off, because it was great when he was little, but now he eats a lot of crickets and small mice. He loves small mice. But I can't get him to eat fish either, which is really weird. He just chews them up and spits them out. And then anyway, down here is his swimming bowl. It's a 10-gallon aquarium. I've got a nice size filter. It's underwater filter, and I've got little fish because they're pretty. And so on, oh, there's that fountain thing. It's, he can climb up on that. That's mainly the reason it's there. He loves to swim, too. And then here you can see I have a large tree, actually small oak tree I cut down and put it in there. Kind of goes between the, ha the platform so we can climb up and down. And by the name, his name is Loch Ness, but he's Loch for short. So that's my little lizard. I think he's pretty cool. And... He seems to like his habitat, but if there's anything any of you think I should improve or take away or anything like that, I'd love to hear about it because I just I'd like to do the best for him. Thanks. Bye. Hello, this is Reptiles Rock09, and in this video I'll be showing you my collection of snakes. Anyway, let's get started. Here is my white corn snake. It's not albino, it's actually a white, it's a type of corn snake. I'm not really sure what they call, maybe a snow or something like that. But anyway, she's a very nice, um, full-grown female. Very friendly as well. She's my pretty little girl. Yes, she is. She's in, I think, it's like a 30-gallon high tank. Anyway, there she is. She's not camera shy at all. And here is her tank. She's got a couple pieces of uh, a couple little logs to hide under. She's got a large water bowl there, heat pad underneath, and this is like uh, peat moss, repti bark stuff you get from the pet store. And then there's a little humidity gauge. So that's her setup, corn snake. She is a corn snake, and they're very easy to care for. Pretty simple. And then up here is my, oh, and she, yes, she does have a top for the tank, but I had to take it off so that I wouldn't have to take it off on this video, and you guys would sit there wondering what on earth I was doing. Anyway, and then next is my Kenyan sand boa. She, he is about a foot in length. Let me see if I can find him here real quick. He's not friendly in this. There he is. He's not friendly in the slightest. He's got a heat pad over on this end, keeps it 90. This so the sand level is about 95. The heat, the sand level, sand temperature on this side is about 80. So he seems to be doing well, though he's not eating right now because he's only interested in females because this is mating season. Anyway, so there he is, quite pretty little guy. And yeah, oh, and there's his water bowl. They're also very easy to care for since basically you just need a large tank, sand, and a heat pad, and a water bowl. And then over here are some of my other snakes, my ball python and a couple of my king snakes. Let's start with the ball python. There she, I think it's she, really not sure about her either. And yes, there's a rock in the water bowl because she is con she was continually knocking over the water bowl, which was quite irritating because it would flood the tank. Anyway, there she is. She's somewhat friendly. She's bitten me a few times, but that was because she my hand smelled like my mouse. But yeah, she's 
kind of nice. She's kind of nervous as well. Anyway, and yeah, there's her heat lamp, there's her water bowl, and her Heidi box. Then down here is a king snake, which does not have a heat source since my room usually stays in the mid in the mid 70s to 80s. Um, so they don't really need a heat source because they're used to cool temperatures because they live around here in California and frankly there aren't many days when it gets above 80. Well at least, well I guess there are in the summer. But still, they, she, I've had him for her, him slash her for quite a while now and she's getting along great. There is, that's paper shredded, that's shredded paper as bedding because it's cheap and I mean they don't really, it's not really... Snakes don't really put off smell like mice or rodents would. There she is. She, she slash she is not friendly at all. For right now, I'm just going to call it an it, because I have no idea what gender it is. I think she's about full grown. Not sure. I know California kings get very big. She's actually a brown phase. Not sure if you can see from the video. But yeah, that's her. And then that's her little hidey box. She's completely incompetent at catching mice, which is really weird, because king snakes are supposed to be good at catching both mice and snakes. Then here's my smaller California king. You can see I've got a, a bowl there for water and bedding. She actually had a hidey hole, but she never stayed, he slash she never stayed in it, so she actually likes to burrow down in this bedding. Let's see if I can find her here. Uh, there she is. She is also not friendly at all, though she does. she's not large enough to hurt if she does bite. So there she slash it is. I'm going to call Nick because I don't know what the gender is on this one either. She's not even close to full grown, about a foot and a half, maybe two feet in length. Yeah, that's her. And then I have one more snake. She will get off my hand, now off my arm, and thank you very much. My last snake is an albino California king. She's pretty cool. I got actually adopted her from a reptile place. This is her tank. And I know it seems pretty small, but actually there's a hole in the bottom of the tank. So she can actually go down in here. Oh, and there she is right there. That would be her. Let me set down the camera and pick up the tank real quick so that you can see her. She's a very pretty lady. Though not, she is also not friendly. There she is, and she actually is lucky. She gets typical rodent bedding. She's got a lavender stripe going down their back. I believe she's a banana. She's like a banana stripe albino king, California king. She's not pretty and likes to freak out, but you can see she has very, very pretty yellow and pinkish markings on her. And I had better put the top back on before she tries to climb out. So anyway, that is my collection of snakes. Hope you like them. If, there are, if you have any comments on what I can do better or how I should improve or what I'm doing wrong, love to hear them because I like to do the best for my reptiles. Thanks. Bye.